this is Karthik Selvaraj and in this video 18 of Muley SP tutorials we will be seeing about a transformer called XSLT so XSLT stands for uh, extensible style sheet language transformation so in this example I, I have already built the flow for the interest of time so in this flow we uh, have an HTTP input so we provide and request and the XSLT component over here transforms the input and gives us a response so that is what we are going to do in this exercise so let's explain each of the component so we have a HTTP input listener so which is hosted on localhost and listens on 8086 and the URI which it listens is transform next we have a byte array to string no uh, object or transformation node I, I will explain you about the importance of this when we run through the test next we have a logger component which will uh, output the payload next we have an XSLT component so this XSLT component will be referring to an XSL so we are referring to an XSL which is placed in D resources XSLT employee transform XSLT dot XSL so we can go to that folder so this is a transformation file so for this example we are going to use a sample employee file so <coughs> so this is a company's assume this is a company's employee file so there is a root tag called company inside we have a tag called employee so we we have got a employee number the employee's name Shiva so we have an, an much more details as well the salary is position and the projects that he has worked on the project start date end date and we have uh, another record as well with the employee number two uh, named Kamal and uh, let's I mean for this example we are only going to have two employee details over here so now we have a uh, end application which only needs the employee numbers alone so they don't need the salary or any other details so we and they need it in XML format so we have to provide these details so for this we are going to use an XSLT so if you see the XSLT <coughs> so this is very simple XSLT so we have a match template match so whenever uh, it goes it creates a tag called ABC corpse and uh, inside for each co company employee so it is nothing but for each it goes to company and employee tag it will create a tag employee NO and it will get the employee number employee number is nothing but this detail okay so this is a transformation it does now let's test it so I'll use SOAP UI <coughs> so, so let me go through the flow so again we have a byte array to string and we have a logger which will provide you the transformed payload so we already have the input over here so it has uh, two employee details employee with number one and employee with number two so so before that let me run this So the application is successfully deployed now we can post this and you can see that we have got the transformed output 
so abc cops and it has the employee number one and two okay so if we go to the console you can see over here as well because we had a logger component which captured the uh, payload input payload and after transformation also we are capturing the payload so it should have the input payload that we used this was the input payload let me okay uh, and if you see this is was the output payload so now what i will do is i will uh, remove this byte array to string and i will save this okay so i'll clear this as well so now it has been successfully redeployed now let me post the same message again so I will get the response over here but if you go to the console you can see that uh, the you can have the you, you can see the output payload of the transformed message but you can't see the input payload because when it comes over here it comes as an byte array so if you want to have that printed we need to convert it to a string so that's why it is not able to to print it over here so if we need that we need to we need to include this byte array to string component over here so that's the use of byte array to string component over here so let me again deploy this okay clear it and i will post the message again so if you see now you can see the input payload as well so this is how the xslt and byte array to string components work so i'll meet you with a different video next time and thanks for watching bye